Hello, Aries. Hello to all of the Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. This reading is for all of my Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If you find that the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my vibe, my energy, you feel like I'm the reader for you, you connect with me and you want to show me some support, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell, that thumbs up image as well. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. I have one more slot for the month of June for a free reading in order to be considered. You have to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section. Okay? Oh, okay. Aries, here you go. King of Wands. I have this King of Wands here. You have this Sun card, Leo's energy. Some of you could be done with a Leo. Someone has Leo in their chart. Okay. Why is this sun card? Okay. What is this? The Three of Cups. Alright, so someone could have just celebrated something. See a celebration. The chariot. Cancer energy. There's this chariot card here, the moon card. Capricorn's energy with that double card. Cards are coming right out. Page of Pentacles. Where's the page of, look at that. <laughs> the hangman, Pisces, and you got a lot of major arcanas. Matter of fact, you only have two court cards here. All right. Okay, so do you and look at this, the star card, Aquarius energy. So this is something, something at, at the bottom of the deck, the judgment card, Scorpio energy. Wow. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven major arcanas. The universe is definitely working in your life at this time. There's a judgment call that needs to be made. Someone wants a second chance. Someone wants to take action and they want a second chance because you make them happy with the sun part. If it's not that, you are gonna take action to give someone a second chance because they make you happy and there's gonna be some type of celebration. I'm seeing a celebration here. And I feel like you're trying to move forward, but you're uncertain if this person is still toxic with this chariot and this moon card. Could be a cancer. You're trying to figure out if this person is still toxic. I'm seeing cancer energy strong. It's here two times. This person may be a little immature. They may feel, or you may feel like you're stuck and bound to this person. Maybe losing money. Per this person may be breadcrumbing you. But I feel like with this star card, you're hoping that things turn around. 
so that you can have an opportunity for a second chance. So let's, let's see. Yeah, but you're not taking action. And I'm hearing that you're not taking action because there is a lack of trust. You don't trust this person. So you're waiting. You're waiting. This could have something to do with the government, with their king of swords. You're waiting to move forward before you offer this person a cup of your love. And you're gonna start off small. You're gonna start off small because you are committed to this person. Could be the mother and the father of your children, but you still wanna work on this. You're committed to working on this union with this person. But right now may not be the right time because this person caused you some type of disappointment and it, it's causing you to feel overwhelmed, bogged down, feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your back and you're conflicted. You're conflicted about if this is going to change or not. It'll be a wish fulfillment if it changes, but you still feel like this person is being sneaky, although you love them. So you're up in your head, overthinking. It's like, do I start a new beginning or do I move on towards peace and harmony? Because something seems that this change seems, seems to be taking a long time and you want things to move quickly. Although you're wounded, you put a lot of obstacles behind you. You're still willing to work on things with this person because you love them. But there's a decision to make with the lover's card, Gemini energy. Yeah, there's a decision because there still is a lack of um, stability. There is um, a lack of consistency. A lack of change. Fast, quick change. And balance. You want things to be balanced out. And this is what you're manifesting or trying to manifest at least. Virgo Gemini energy. Can I have stability with this person? Hmm. There's still a decision here. And the decision is, are you going to let this person back in or not? Their cup is here, but you haven't taken it yet. Because you're not sure. You're not sure if they're going to hurt you again. So now this person could be spying on you, riding past your home, checking your social media. With their page of swords. But there's a, there's a delay in the success of this union. And it's leaving someone to feel anxious, heartbroken, let down. See what else is here. Yeah, I feel like you're making healthier choices. Making healthier choices. Self care. Taking care of yourself. Working on yourself.
If you're not doing it, that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Meeting up with friends, having conversations, just talking to people. Could be getting counseling as well. Because I feel like this union may be over. Yeah, I feel like it's over. Misfortune. Some of you may be moving out of the home. Purchasing a new home. Waiting to move out of a home. Because of a third party, somebody, someone was pleasing other people. So Aries, this is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to go over to the community page or the community section of this channel and for updates and new posts. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.